Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to show up very well on the camera, but I've got my times 10 macro lens on there, and you might be able to see a little bit of flicker going on that T, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the pot on that switching converter power regulator thing. And then you can see them slow down. You can definitely see a, a wave going across the side of that T a little bit faster now. Now I let go. They go a lot faster. Put my finger back on it and like they'll like go the other way and stuff. So now I'm really starting to suspect that power has a lot to do with what's going on with the interference here. And I'm not surprised, it's just a cheap, probably Chinese made switching regulator. You can definitely see it in the uh, R as well. I'll uh, back up here and show you what I'm touching. This, this is the uh, the pot that I'm touching right here. When I touch that, the interference changes direction and speed. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, removing this and installing a different uh, setup here. Yeah, I've been trying some grounding um, changes with pin 17 on the PPU it was suggested uh, right now I have ground that goes to my component output connectors connected straight to the ground on the board but I've been switching it up between this is the other end of this connector right here pin 17 connecting straight to the ground going to the connectors and the video is much worse uh, it's darker and green seems to be more prevalent Here, I'll uh, take the lens off and show you switch over to Mike Tyson's cart since there's a little more color on it you can kinda tell better this is what it's supposed to look like and grounding pin 17 along with circuit board ground makes no difference but if I remove circuit board ground it goes just super green and I'm losing picture here just because the I just got the pins shoved into the holes on the component output board. Yeah, I've got, got them shorting out together. And let's see if I just touch circuit board ground back on there. Especially the whites. You can tell um, a little bit with Joe and everything. You can tell it's just see it looks more tan and now it looks more greenish. So doing pin and it, and it doesn't seem to me to affect the interference that much. I still get jitter either way. Although it is less when 17 goes to the ground on the component connectors. As soon as I attach ground or a circuit board ground, I do have I do see more jitter and interference but just the, the color being off means it's, it's not going to work and maybe if I used pin 17 for grounding of all these circuits on the board it might be a different story but I don't know I, I've never been a, a believer in the pin 17 ground theories ground is ground if, you, if you've got problems with ground then it's not just pin 17 being connected or not so anyway, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to work up some other power solution to the Super 8 and see if that makes any kind of a difference here. Well, I've definitely solved the interference problem with the component output. Uh, before I was getting all kinds of jitter just everywhere. There was diagonal lines of interference moving across the screen. I get none of that now because I got rid of the power supply that the owner sent along with the Super 8. Um, right now I'm just powering it from a top loader actually. Not a great idea, not the best way to do it, but it was a quick and easy way to test and see if, if that would help and it's uh, reduced interference almost to nothing. So it looks like I definitely need to 
to find a different power supply for the Super 8. Now this is a version 1 board, maybe his version 1.1 or whatever he's on now has a better power supply built in, but the one that was given, this little thing, simply too much noise. And if, if I remember right, the, let's see, low budget possibly supplied this, and he said it was just one that he got off eBay. And I believe a lot of it had to do with the fact that it's adjustable, and this pot right here, and whenever I touched it or adjusted it or whatever, the interference patterns and speeds would change, so I think it had a lot to do with it. But anyway, we're doing a lot better now.